Okay, can you guys see my slide? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. So good morning, everyone. We are here for uh, the session on links and joints. Based on this, there will be a lot of two marks that are being asked. Okay, where a diagram will be given and from that you have to find out the number of degrees of freedom basically okay so look at the slide so what is a link as i said link is a basic element of any mechanism sharingla a link na na or basic mechanism or mechanism oda basic fundamental element nu solva okay now how does a binary link look like can you all see that how does it look like just a line a link with two ends it's called as a binary link a link with two ends is called as a binary link what about a ternary link look at it this whole thing is one object okay ternary link na abbi paarukom can you see how is it guys how does it look like ternary link is a link which is having three ends purida can you all see that it is having three ends this is a ternary link what about a quaternary link a quaternary link is something which has four ends guys are able to understand boys yes sir okay this is uh, a quaternary link next one is joint so there's a difference between link and joint look at binary joint two links join at one point to form a binary joint what did i say two links form at a single point is called as a binary joint because at this joint there are two links so by got it by means two so there are two links at this particular joint okay joint will be one only but how many links are joining together that's what matters here there are two links joining so we call it as binary joint what about here what about here there are three links joining one two and three Got it. One, two, and three. So three links are joining to form a ternary joint. What about here? Four links. One, two, three, and four. Four links are joining to form what? What is it forming? A quaternary, quaternary joint. Do you guys understand this? Hello. Or you want me to repeat? Do you guys understand this? Okay, so link binary link is basically a link with two ends. It's called as a binary link. Ternary link is a link with three ends. Okay, three ends is called as a ternary link. What is a quaternary link? A quaternary link is something which has four ends or four corners basically. Okay, that is a quaternary link. What is a joint? Two links join at one point to form a binary joint. Three links. join at one point to form a ternary joint four links join at one point to form a quaternary joint i've uh, mistyped it this is joint okay clear got it guys hello yes, sir yes okay now look at it can you see the image now what is this joint tell me what kind of joint is this what kind of a joint is that ternary joint ternary joint can you see the letter t there can you all see it so it is a ternary joint because there is 1 2 3 three links are forming at joining at one point to get to get a to give a ternary joint what about here what about this how many links are joining two two so there is basically one line and two lines two links are joining to form a binary joint what about here how many count it count and see three sir three okay as i mentioned t letter t means ternary one two and three what about here again letter t one two and three are you guys able to understand sir uh now look at this quaternary joint can you see a quaternary joint here what is happening tell me how many are there 1 2 3 and 4 do you guys understand 
So four links are joining at this point to form a quaternary joint. Got it? Can someone respond? No, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. Now, what about this? This is a ternary joint. Ternary joint this is a binary joint. This is a ternary joint. Now, look at it. How many ternary joints are there? How many ternary joints? Can you count it? How many ternary joints? Six. Six. Very good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. How many binary joints are there? Two. 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 Okay. One and two. How many quaternary joints? One. 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 Okay. Now look at it. If I have to find out the joint value for this, okay, there's something that you have to calculate. If it is all binary joints, then I can just uh, uh, put it as if, if there are two binary joints, like if there is only two binary joints, I can just put the joint value as two. If there are more than binary joints, if there's ternary and quaternary joints, look how I have to, how we have to do it. Look at it. Okay, how many binary are there? Binary is two. How many ternary? Ternary is six. How many quaternary? Quaternary is one. Now, how do I calculate? J is equal to how many binary? Okay, two into one. Binary value is one. Okay plus ternary how many ternary are there six into ternary's value is two because each ternary joint is taken as two binary joint do you understand do you get the point each ternary joint should be considered as what two ternary sorry two binary joints each ternary joint should be considered as two binary joints so the value of ternary is two then the value of quaternary is three do you understand how much does it come to? Can you tell me? 2 into 1 plus 6 into 2 plus 1 into 3. How much does it come to? How much does it add up to? Can someone tell me the answer? 17. 17. Huh? How much? 6 into 2 is 12. 12 plus 2 is 14. 14 plus 3, 17. Very good. Okay, so my joint value in this particular mechanism is 17. Do you guys understand any doubts? Any doubts? Let me know. Hurry up. Are you guys able to understand? If you understand this concept only, we can move forward. What do you guys say? Did you guys get it? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. Boys, want me to repeat? Boys, do you want me to repeat or move forward? No answer. Hello. Boys. Puri Dapa, boys. Yes, sir. Puri Dingla. Uh -huh. Okay. Next to Paranga. Look at it. This is a calculation that we uh, generally do. J is equal to 3 by 2 L minus 2. Okay, J is number of joints, L is number of links. Okay, and 2 and 3 by 2 are just constants. Clear? Now look at it. Can you tell me how many joints are in there in this? Look at it. I'll erase the whole thing. Can you just tell me how many links are there? We have found out there are 17 joints here. J is equal to 17. How many links are there? Tell me. How many links are there? Can you count? See, 1. Two, three, four, okay, five, six, seven, eight, thirteen, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen here, okay. So L J L value is thirteen. Do you understand? J value. I told you how to calculate. How should I calculate L? I just have to count the links. Okay, understand? You understood it? Okay, so L is equal to 13. Clear? So we are just going to move forward. Now, 
if this is left hand side and this is right hand side okay if l if l right hand left hand side is greater than right hand side it's called as a locked chain okay can you guys note it down can you guys note it down hurry up if lhs is greater than rhs it's called as a locked chain if lhs is equal to rhs it's called as kinematic chain of one degree of freedom or it's called as a constrained kinematic chain write it down Write down this data. LHS is equal to RHS means it is a kinematic chain of one degree of freedom, or it is a constrained kinematic chain. So what it basically is is, okay, if your uh, value LHS is equal to RHS, what happens is you will get definite motion using this particular mechanism. That's what it means. There will be definite constrained motion. Constrained chain means it will it will not. Uh, uh, cause any hazardous movement or any kind of uh, danger dangerous movement or anything you understand because when something moves what happens there are there is there are a lot of chances that it will come out of that uh, chain and it will come and hit you or hit neighboring uh, machines or something so if lhs is equal to rhs what it means is it means that it is going to move in a constrained way got it if LHS is less than RHS, it means unconstrained chain, which you cannot determine at all. Unconstrained means any time anything can happen. Do you guys understand the concept? Three things are there. First one is, if LHS is greater than RHS, it is a locked chain. Locked chain means, how will a locked chain behave? Have you guys uh, seen chain uh, uh, being tangled? Cycle chain, Hello? Hello? Cycle chain is in the middle of when it is uh, getting locked, it will not be able to open up, correct? Cycle chain, have you, have you had it in hand and seen it? What will happen if it interlocks? If the chain interlocks itself, what will happen? It will become very hard. It will not be able to transmit any kind of motion. Okay, that is a locked chain. Or if LHS is equal to RHS, what happens? There will be definite movement in the chain and it will be a const and it will be in a constrained way then lhs is less than rhs means it is an unconstrained chain unconstrained chain means anything can happen you cannot tell how it will move at all okay because it is not constrained it is not going to be under a particular boundary condition do you understand as i said joint value for binary is one ternary is two quaternary is three did you guys get this slide any doubts or you want me to repeat anything? Hello? Boys? Girls? If you respond only, we can move forward. Clear? Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. Next. Now, all of you take out your notebooks, paper, pen, whatever. Draw this diagram. Okay. You are going to tell me how many links are there and how many joints are there. Okay. Everybody unmute yourself. You can all talk. You can all give answers. Give me J value and give me L value from this. All of you. How many joints are there? How first calculate the link? How many links are there? How many links are there? Six links. How? How did I get six? What should I do to get number six? Yeah. Six is correct. How? What should I do? Three links, sir. What is it? Sandhya. Others, others mute yourself. Sandhya alone, you can talk. So, all three links are triangle one, two, three. Key okay. on the square on the one, two, three, sir. One, two, three. Oh, totally, there are six links. Okay, very good. Can you tell me how? Uh, can you get me a J value? How many binary joints are there? Tell me how many binary joints. Binary mm. which, which are the binary joints? Tell me. A, B, C, D, E. Which are the binary joints? 
D E E C and mm. binary. I'm asking binary joint. Tell me. Binary child, tell me how many? Just name the points. Is A a binary joint? Sandhya, is A a binary joint? Sir. Tell me. No problem, no problem. Think and tell me. Is A a binary joint? Sir. Binary, binary joint. Can anyone else answer? Is A a binary joint? A, B, D, sir. Very good. Okay, who is that? What is your name? Blessings. Blessing, very good. Ra. Okay, A, B, B, and D are binary joint. What about E and C? What about E and C? Ternary joint, sir. Ternary joint. Now, how many binary joints? Three binary joints. So, three into one plus how many ternary joints? Two. Two into two. So, total value is three plus. Four that is seven. So you can put it in this equation. J value is seven, L value is six. So what is the left hand side? Left hand side is seven. Right hand side, if you do the calculation, left right hand side also you'll get seven. Okay, so seven is equal to seven. LHS is equal to RHS. What does it mean? What does it say? What does it say, guys? See, you guys have to respond. Constraint chains. Yes. So it says constraint chain. Clear? Which means that this will give you proper output. If you give an input, it will give you an output, this particular chain. Now look at this diagram. Sir, sir. Yama. Sir, a binary tertiary joint. Every kind of Simple, simple, manga baranga. Binary joint. Na, trend link or at the joint and it's binary joint. A point paranga. How it is? How is the A point? Tell me. One and first uh, link number one and link number six are joining at this point. Okay, so it's a binary joint. What about B? One and two are joining. So two links are joining at one point. If two links are joining, it's a binary joint. Purida, inga paranga. Okay. Indian two links. E point la pating na three links join out. So it's a ternary joint. C la pating na moon link join out. So it's a ternary joint. Understood? Clear? Yes. Sir. I okay. see. Now, now look at this. How many binary joints you tell me? Everything has been numbered and named. Okay, you just have to tell me how many binary joints are how many binary joints are there and which are all the binary joints. Try you try Sandhya. Name letters letters are all joints. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, everything are joints. Can you tell me? Hello. Uh, B, sir. What? B, B is what? First, binary. Tell me which is binary. Rend the line join at binary. Ma. Check where is binary is. That's why I'm asking you to draw. You guys are not drawing at all. Bless and chalupa. Is a binary joint? Sir, D, sir. D, very good. Okay, wow. D point on the binary. What about B? B on the ternary, sir. Ah, ternary. At the E, sir. 
புரியுதுங்களா <laughs> Okay, so 15. This is your J value. Okay, so J is equal to 15. Now count how many links are there. Link count for you, Bagla. L value count it. How many are there? How many links are there? Count for you, Chorunga. It's already put there. Eh, what ma? Eleven. Eleven. Yes. Eleven. Okay. Eleven links are there. So I'm putting L value eleven here. Okay. So if I do it, what am I getting? Fourteen point five only. I'm getting. So what does it mean? LHS is greater than RHS. So LHS is greater than RHS, which means what is the condition? Lock chain. Lock chain means what? What does lock chain means? Lock chain means it will not move. There will not be any definite motion between the links. If I if I try to move A, what will happen? Nothing will move. Do you understand the meaning of log chain? <coughs> if I try to give motion to D, if I just D a point to chuma abdi abdi asachen is going on, what will happen? Nothing. None of the other links will move because it is all locked. Put it in la. Do you understand the point? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Now look at the next one. You are going to do it. Try this. How many joins? How many links? You tell me. Look at it. How many joins and how many links? Ten links, sir. Hello. Yes. Ten. Ten, na uh, ten links. Okay, it is put there as ten. Did you count or chumma telling ten? Counting, sir. Chumma okay, okay, the... okay. Joint. Now tell me which is binary joint now. Which is binary joint? Tell me. Others. What about others? There are so many in the class. Only two are answering. Only Sandhya and Blessing are answering. What about others? Matto ke na pandringa. Sriram is here. Sriram, are you there? Who else is there? Try. Others keep trying. Akash. Akash, are you there? Yes, sir. Uh, give me answers. No, you are very quiet. Okay, sir. We'll give, sir. Ah, uh, which is a binary joint? Tell me. Which is a binary joint? Which letter is a binary joint? Sandhya, can you tell which letter is a binary joint now? So B. B. Why B is a binary joint? Yeah, How many lines? A and B, sir. Ah oh, no, sir. It is a tertiary. Ah, don't don't confuse. Only two lines have to come. Okay. What about D point? Look at D point. How is it? Binary, sir. Yes. Okay. So there is only one binary point. Joint. Okay. Oh, there is only one binary. Joint here. Okay, this is a ternary joint. This is a ternary joint. This is a ternary joint. 
ternary, ternary, and ternary. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six ternary joints and one bin binary joint. What will be the value of J? Tell me. Sandhya, tell me now. There are six ternary joints and one binary joint. What does it mean? Can it give me the answer? What is J value now? 20, sir. 20. How 20, da? One binary joint and six ternary sir. joints. 14, sir. Illie, Illie. 13, sir. 13. One binary joint now, one into one, okay, wow. plus two into six, that's all. 12 plus one is 13. You answer it King here. It is there already. 13, do you guys understand? Binary, you know, two potra pora. The binary value is one. You two in put here. Another 20 on yes, the one into two plus two into uh, sorry, the uh, six into three in potter. Six threes are eighteen plus two twenty. Okay, tapa potter king. One into one plus two into six. Sorry, six into two. Okay, wow. clear. How many links are there? As we already mentioned, 10 links are there. So if I substitute it and if I calculate this, I'm getting 13 is equal to 13. So in this case, what does it mean? LX is equal to RHS means what? It is a constrained kinematic chain. It is a constrained kinematic chain. Do you guys, are you guys able to understand to an extent? Or Alok Purida? Guys? Yes, sir. Yes, any Me doubts? Too. Any? Any doubts, let me know other than these two. Akash, do you understand? Guys, since you guys are writing online examinations, these kind of questions will be asked definitely. What is the value of J? They last from this. Uh, J, just put you put this diagram and ask what is J value and what is L value, all that. And they might give you four options. L is equal to RHS, greater than RHS, or less than RHS, like that, and ask you which is the condition. So you, you should be able to know it. Okay. Then look at it. Next, you're going to degrees of freedom. Okay. Degrees of freedom. How many degrees of freedom are there? Do you know that? How many degrees of freedom are there? Can you guys guess how many degrees of freedom? Hello? Hello. Can you take a while guess? Akash. Akash. Sir. Yeah, give a while, take a while guess. Now, how many degrees of freedom are there? Totally, how many degrees of freedom? Three, sir. Three. Okay, what other answers? Number of links, number of joints, number of IFS. No, 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 not that, not that. We are not dealing with that. Any other answers? Three is one answer. Any other number? Come on, come on. Participate now. I'm asking a question, and all are quiet. Give me an answer. I'm going to explain you how many degrees of freedom are there. That's why. Okay, look at it. So we all know there is X direction. Okay, there is Y direction and there is Z direction, correct? X, this is minus X. All of you listen, Y and this is minus Y. This is Z or Z and this is minus Z, okay? If I, let's say I am over here, I'm over here. Okay, I can move along X, I can move along minus X. Okay, so this is one degree of freedom going front and back all. Do you guys understand? Guys, if I go front and if I come back along X direction, that is one degree of freedom. 
if I go along y and go down as minus y, so that will be two degrees of freedom. Okay. If I go along z, okay, going towards z plus z and minus z, that will be three degrees of freedom. Then if I rotate along, if I orient myself, okay, if I orient, uh, if my angle, okay, along x axis like this, if I rotate myself along x axis, that, be that becomes my fourth degree of freedom. Then if I rotate along y axis, clockwise or anticlockwise, both is considered as one degree, okay, that becomes fifth, five degrees of freedom. If I rotate along z axis also, then it becomes six degrees of freedom. So how many are there totally? Six. Do you guys understand? Hello? I'm explaining something important here. So listen, so how many degrees of freedom are there totally? Totally how many are there? Six degrees, sir. Six, six degrees of freedom. Puri dhingla motto, R degrees of six degrees of freedom. Enna X direction la on Y direction la on Z direction la on three degrees acha X la rotation on Y la rotation on Z la rotation on that becomes six. Do you understand? Okay, if someone asks you, okay, in the future you should be able to explain. Do you guys get it? Clear? Okay, this X Clear, direction, sir. yeah. If, oh, let's say you're going in a air aeroplane, okay? Yeah, let's say this is my aeroplane. Okay, this is my X axis. If my aeroplane rotates along or uh, rolls along X axis, it's called as a rolling motion. It's called as rolling motion, okay? If, if it rotates along Y axis, okay, like, left and right left and right okay if it moves that is called as pitching motion okay pitching motion if it moves along z axis it's called as your motion roll pitch and your okay y a w your okay you should remember these particular terms rolling pitching and yawing okay it depends on one one angle okay angle of orientation one on the x curve one on the y curve one on the z curve okay we are not going to deal much about this and this is a very important thing that you should know rolling pitching and yawing now now how many degrees of freedom are there how many totally answers of freedom, sir. How, how many six sir six very good okay now remember this formula n is equal to 3 into l minus 1 minus 2 j minus h usually we won't use this h because h stands for higher pairs what does higher pair mean i explained you yesterday can you guys uh, give me an answer for what does higher pair mean i asked you to write also last class Did you guys write it? Okay, let me repeat it. Lower pair means surface contact. Higher pair means point or line contact. Understood? I gave an example also. Point contact means two balls are touching each other. Okay, in a ball bearing. Okay, inside a ball bearing, there are a lot of balls. Okay, steel balls. And all those balls are touching each other, correct? So that is point contact. Whereas, uh, I, mean, I mean, in a gear, when two gears are meshing together, it forms a line contact. So those things come under higher pairs. Do you understand? Do you guys understand it? Everything else comes under surface contact. Okay, that is a lower pair. That means it is a lower pair. Do you guys understand it? Any doubts between higher pair and lower pair? Hello? Do you guys understand it? Any doubts? Yes, you guys are there or not? I don't know. Yeah, one more time. Yeah, one more time. If you ask me only, I can tell you. 
okay uh, there are two pairs okay based on uh, contact according to the point of contact or according to the classification based on contact one is lower pair another one is higher pair what does lower pair means is lower pair means there will be surface to surface contact okay there will be surface for example uh, screw a screw is able to i mean a bolt or nut okay the nut is able to go around the bolt which is a surface contact okay you touch your two hands together how many points are touching it's actually a surface touching another surface correct when you put your both your hands together correct uh, when you put, when you put both your hands together it becomes surface contact whereas when you put your finger on on uh, on the other hand what happens it becomes a point contact understood just like that these also have contacts so lower pair means it is surface contact surface to surface for example screw and uh, that is nut and bolt okay what is higher pair mean higher pair means it is a line or point contact okay example point contact example is cam mechanism or ball bearing all those things have point contact line contact for example gears okay i'll explain all those things in the i'll try to put some video and try to explain it do you understand so that is higher pair and lower pair so here in these sums that we are dealing with all are surface contact this point d c e all are turning pairs okay all these points are pairs are turning pairs so we don't have the chance to deal with higher pairs in a higher pair kudla namak pole so h value and it will be zero for now do you understand what will be the h value for now hello yes, h h yeah h value will be zero for now clear now look at it look at this sum okay can you can you tell me how many links are there and how many pairs are there sorry how many joints are there how many links tell me eight how many how many links eight links eight links okay i'll, I'll just mark the joints this is one joint this is one joint this is one joint this is one joint and this is one joint okay now you see what kind of joint is this tell me what kind of joint is this what kind of joint is that sandhya what kind of joint is that which one sir this one this point um tertiary joint sir tertiary joint what about this tertiary 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 ternary actually not uh, tertiary oh, if you say ternary. just ternary okay ternary joint so how many ternary joints four ternary joints what is the value of uh, ternary joint two correct so two. four into two is eight okay four into two is eight then is there any binary joints here no there are no binary joint is this is not a joint okay leave it off now how many links are there tell me this is 1 2 3 4 this is 5 fully and this is 6 so l is equal to okay so l is equal to 6 and j we just found out it is 8 42s are 8 can you put this value in this particular formula h is 0 and tell me the answer this is 0 so take it off j value is 8 l value is 6 what is the answer uh, 
minus one. Minus one. Okay. So minus one means what does it say here? If n is equal to minus one, what is the minus answer? One. Yeah, what is the answer? Minus one. If minus one, what does it say? Indeterminate structure. Indeterminate. Okay, indeterminate structure. So what does that mean is it cannot have any kind of moment. Okay. And if it all if at all it moves, it will not be a safe move. Okay. So you, you need you should not depend on these kind of mechanism that's what it means okay in the in the mechanism it will break or it will cause some da, some huge uh, accidents or something that's what it means how many links are there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine what joint is this? What joint is this? Tell me. How many ternary joints and how many binary joints? Can you tell me? Two binary joints, two ternary joints. That's all very good. Okay, two binary, two ternary. Up. What is the value? J is equal to two into one plus two into two what is it four plus two is six how many links are there l is equal to five so l is equal to five j is equal to six put in this equation what answer you are getting tell me l is equal to five j is equal to six what is the answer h is zero what is the answer Sir, and the formula is sir, three bracket. L is one, sir. L, 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 L minus one, da. Minus one. Oh. Okay, that is L. Okay, that is L. Let me draw. Okay, L minus one. N equal to zero, sir. N is equal to zero. Pakla man, sir, enge pang. N is equal to zero. Correct. N is equal to zero, na enna. What does it mean? Can I put it again? What does it mean? Locked chain. Locked chain. Locked chain and Arthana. It cannot move, basically. Indeterminate structure and Nagana. Yep, put it suttone cholamudia. That's what indeterminate structure means. You cannot. Assume or you cannot predict how it will move. Okay, so in the one minus one on the mine was zero on this now you can depend. Okay, locked chain now is one it will not move at all in solitary. I can finalize, but indeterminate structure of a chin number yet to make one of basically. This is what this uh, concept is all about. Either one day it will move properly in Patina only this one. One, two, two, three, four, five, and the chinata, your object will work, or else if you are getting zero or minus one, your mechanism will not work. Let's look at another example. Look at this. How many points are there? How many points are there? How many links? Sorry. Five, sir. Five links. And how many joints? Random five. Because you get one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, all are binary joints. So five into one is five. Now put it in the formula. Put it in the formula. Three into five minus one minus two into five. In a power on answer to three into five minus one. Five minus one is four. Four threes are twelve. Twelve. Twelve, twelve minus two into five or ten. ten. Twelve minus ten is two. Correct answer. Plus two. 
plus 2. Answer parenga 2. 2 na enna meaning na? Actually pa. Ah plus 2 sir. Answer plus 2. Ah plus 2. Tool na enna meaning paathinga na? In the particular mechanism la, in the mari nama mechanism amacho na. Okay. Idhu ko andu rendi input purgla na arto. You can give input at one point and another point also two inputs and this will work. This particular mechanism will work. That's what it means. Two thing la. If you're getting positive value one two and where on the chena, this mechanism will work. That's what it means. Do you guys understand the concept? Or alag puri da? Clear? Yes, so sir. I'll I'll try to I'll try to uh, put some videos in the next class and teach you. Okay, we are done for today. Any doubts? You let me know now. Links na purni cha, binary joins na purni cha. Unna na main the ternary link, quaternary link kuliye pola na main. We haven't gone inside this uh, concept. I mean, all main binary link time bo pata ma pating la. All are just one line with two ends. Correcta? Okay, one line with Two ends. That's what it is. Ternary link. Now, after that, Marco, actually, show you. These are all some real. Okay. I'll show the screen. Share the screen to you. This is how the link will be if it's a ternary link. That thing like, can you see the link number four? Can you see link number four? Guys, can you see link number four? Yes, sir. This is how ternary link will be. This hole in the in the moon in the triangle is clear. The triangle full away one link. Do you understand the point? Now, line. If we if a two link two, pathing na it is a binary link. Link three, pathing na it's a binary link. Whereas four, it's a ternary link. Link. Puri da it's not a joint. It's a link. This whole thing mandu or link. Adhe mario square imagine pani kongla or quadrilateral. If you try to imagine what happens, that whole quadrilateral be a link. Dengla puri liya. Guys, इधर लगा रहेंगे how many these are all links uh, binary link two is a binary link five is a binary link six is seven four eight three all are binary link because single line with two ends okay it's a single link with two ends whereas what is it इधर का आधे को वित्तीय संतर दा number four को number वो two को three को able to understand look at four it is fully shaded it's a triangle इधर full आवे और link It's not a joint. Be very, very careful. It's a link. Okay. So all these things we'll see in the next class. Okay. We'll see in detail. If you have not understood the uh, Turner link now, no issues. I'll redo it in the next class. Yeah. Okay. Any other doubts? Let me know. If there's any other doubts, or else we'll end the class. No doubt. Okay. No doubt. चलो